Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to show you how you can make your photos look better with the new dehaze features in Lightroom CC and Adobe Camera Raw via Photoshop. So, let's dive in and take a look. Now, I've got some photos here that are definitely in need of some dehazing, and this is a feature that was uh, implemented in Lightroom CC and in Camera Raw, and it's even been enhanced in the latest versions of both. So let's start off with a simple portrait. Um, I've got this portrait here that I took uh, back, I think it was around 2010 in Egypt, and I never used it because I just never liked how bad the lighting looked on this photo. It's out in the, in the sun, middle of the day, almost like right next to the desert. It just looks horrible. Never use this photo. But let's go in and simply take it over to the develop module basically freezing this photo since 2010, bringing it forward in time with technology, we can actually make it better. So let's uh, scroll down to the effects panel inside of uh, Lightroom CC, and there's a brand new dehaze slider. So that dehaze uh, slider, just like most of the sliders in Lightroom, starts at zero in the middle, and you can either go left or right with it. If I go left, I'm actually adding more haze to it, and that can be used as an effect, but in this case, it's not what we want. Instead, I want to use this slider to remove that atmospheric haze and uh, cloudiness to the photo. So I can now take a photo that I would have never used and turn it into one that I would absolutely use just by dragging the dehaze slider. All right, so that's our first example. Second one, we're going to do in Lightroom as well. And this one actually is a sunset that I captured uh, standing right here on the waterfront in the Canadian side, looking back at Detroit, Michigan in the U.S. And the, the, the clouds look ominous and they look cool, but there's a lot of haze in there as well. So I could dehaze the entire photo, but in a lot of cases you want to dehaze only the areas that need it. So luckily, in the latest version of Lightroom CC and Adobe Camera Raw, dehaze has actually been added to the adjustment brush, radio filter, and um, graduated filter. So if I click the adjustment brush, I can go in and I can even choose from the presets. Uh, normally I might have it on exposure, but there's even a dehaze preset. What that does is just simply zero everything else out and give you a slight amount of dehaze. Now I can take my brush I can make a larger brush and I can just simply start at the top and we can brush left and right and kind of dehaze our sky just that easily. And of course you can make your brush smaller, get into detail areas, uh, but we're just adding some deha dehaze to the sky. Now at this point, I can, uh, since I made that adjustment, I can continue to adjust just that area. So I can really dehaze the sky. I could also do other adjustments while I'm here, make the sky a little bluer by adding uh, a little more blue temperature to it or cool temperature to it. And I could even uh, increase the saturation of it and uh, take away some of the noise and you get the idea. So having dehaze on an adjustment brush is very, very cool to be able to do these kind of adjustments. Uh, Non-destructively, I might add, to your photos. Uh, so if you need an area that's dehazed uh, or a specific area dehazed, now you can do it. Now this next photo is a little bit more challenging and I'll explain why. This is a photo that I took during the 4th of July fireworks as you might imagine and with fireworks going off one after another you're gonna have smoke, you're gonna have just just you know some of the smoke kind of interfering with the way the shot looks and I know I thought hey dehaze maybe that'll fix it for me. So sure enough scroll down uh, or let's put the brush away uh, scroll down to the effects panel and let's go ahead and dehaze this photo Ooh, it's looking better looking better and I get to a point to where I've gone as far as that slider will let me go and yes it made it a hundred times better but there's still some smoke in there I can still see it and I've gone as far as dehaze will let me go well then I thought of another trick Let's go ahead and uh, reset it. Let's put the dehaze back to zero. Now that we're at zero, I'm going to not do this in, in Lightroom. I'm going to do it in Photoshop instead. And let's go ahead and right click on this. We're going to say edit in Photoshop CC 2015. 
And of course, that will take this raw file, open it up in Photoshop non-destructively, and then I can work on it in Photoshop. Okay, here comes our image in Photoshop. And now, um, if I want to work on this non-destructively, all I'd have to do is just go up to my filter menu and say convert for smart filters first. But uh, this is just an example. I'm not going to spend the time rendering that. So I'm just going to go into the camera raw filter where we would get the exact same options that we had in Lightroom's develop module. And you're probably thinking, well, if it didn't work in the develop module, why would it work here in camera raw? Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the slider. I'm going to do the exact same thing we did before. Take it all the way to 100, click OK, and you're saying, well, Terry, that's the exact same result you got in Lightroom. And you're right. But the difference is, I'm in Photoshop. I can do whatever I want. So, for example, I can go up to my filter menu, and I can run the exact same filter again. So, now it's 200% dehaze. Now it's 300% dehaze. And I can keep applying this until I get to a point of diminishing returns, but... I've taken something that would only go to 100 in Lightroom, and I've duplicated that effect multiple times so that I can get just what I wanted with the power of Photoshop and the Camera Raw filter. So with that said, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>